NBA Week 4 is in the books, which means only one thing, Sports Opinion Log, Lex Anderson. We're going to recap all things Laker Nation. Holler if you hear me, and if you do, make sure you're subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Week 4, LA Lakers, another great week, and something historic actually happened for our second little brother, the ugly child, the LA Clippers. So the Toronto Raptors came into our house last Sunday, and of course I had earmarked it, I had booked it that it would be a Laker victory. It turned out to be a Laker loss, final score 113 to 104. And you know what? The Toronto Raptors, they're definitely for real. Even without Kawhi Leonard, Siakam 24 points, 11 rebounds, Van Fleet 23 points with 10 assists, snapping at the time our seven-game win streak, Anthony Davis with 27 points, and of course the king, LeBron James, another triple-double, 13 points, 15 assists, and 13 rebounds for his 85th career triple-double. Tuesday, Lakers at Phoenix, final score, LA Lakers 123, Phoenix Suns 115, AD 24 points, 12 rebounds, Kuzma season high 23 points, LeBron James 19 points, 11 assists, and 7 rebounds, as the Lakers as a team had 39 assists. Wednesday, Warriors at Lakers, the Lakers got the edge 120 to 94 over the Golden State Warriors, no Anthony Davis, no problem. LeBron stepped up, 23 points, 12 assists for the King. Kyle Kuzma with 22 points. And JaVale McGee coming through, offering a double-double of 18 points and 17 rebounds. And the Lakers ended the Warriors' five-game winning streak in our house in Staples Center. The Clippers at Houston on Wednesday. Final score in prime time, of course, the Rockets 102, the Clippers 93. Harden dropped 47 points. Austin Rivers, I'm sure as you have already seen, was imploring the refs to call a tech on his father, Doc Rivers, which they did. And I'm sure everybody got a good laugh of that. I'm sure Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm sure there'll be payback as Austin Rivers clearly sold his pops, Doc River, up a river on that uh, technical foul call. But, you know, my concern here is that there was an interview with Stephen A., and Harden. And Stephen A was kind of trying to get Harden to say, you know, will this be your year? Will this be your championship year? And maybe it's his personality. Maybe I just don't like James Harden because I don't. He always comes up small in big time moments. I don't care how many points he's scoring in league history and what kind of records he's setting. Because I am just coasting through the regular season. Because in the playoffs, in the postseason, I need you to show me something. And Harden has shown me what he already is. He's a fraud. He's not big time. Last year when the Warriors were there for the taking and he still couldn't take advantage of it. And he wants to make excuses about how they were a super team, even though the Rockets in their own right should have been able to step up to the challenge and eliminated a decimated Warriors team last season. But the point is in the interview with Stephen A. Smith, he's not convincing me he doesn't seem authoritative in his mannerisms. And he's a scorer. He's not a leader. He won't get you to the next level, which would be NBA Finals and ultimately an NBA championship, which they still won't get. Clippers at New Orleans. Pelicans 132. Clippers 127. Paul George, he finally made his debut. 33 points. However, it was Drew Holiday with the 36 points and three steals from Paul George in the final minutes to preserve the W. He actually had six steals for the game. And of course, a game in which Kawhi Leonard sat out citing load management on his knees. Whatever the fuck. Friday night, Kings at Lakers. The Lakers got the victory. 99-97 final score. LeBron James, 29 points with 11 assists. And the dunk of death on Nemanja be a chick who clearly should have been a man and jump to block this shot instead of standing there like a big doofus becoming a highlight reel that will forever live in infamy. Especially on Twitter, the way people edit these videos are amazing. There's a video that I actually saved on Twitter 
where when LeBron dunked on him, he turned to dust. So you people out there on social media, you keep doing your fucking thing. It's hilarious. Imanja, whoever you are, the poster being posterized, next time be a real big man and jump and try to block the dunk. Don't just stand there. Your feet were shuffling, loser. But <laughs> either way, to quote Shaq, the Kings are still the Queens, and Anthony Davis had the potential game-winning shot of Harrison Barnes. He blocked it in the closing seconds. We secure and procure the win. And on Friday night, Atlanta Hawks on the road taking on the Clippers. The Clippers, I thought this was a typo. Final score, 150 to 104. Paul George dropped 37 points in 20 minutes, becoming the first player in NBA history to score that many points in less than 21 minutes. For the Clippers, it's the largest margin of victory in team history and the second most points dropped in franchise history. And the scary part, no Kawhi Leonard once again, no Patrick Beverly. Wow, 150 to 101. Oh, Trey Young, Trey Young, goddamn. You're down 52 points. <laughs> at the at some point in the fourth quarter, there's nothing to really celebrate or even talk about. So tonight is the night the Hawks will get a second beatdown in Staples Center because guess what? The Lakers will be stepping up to the plate. So, of course, bookmark it. I put the stamp on it. Laker Nation, rise up, stand up. We'll be getting the victory. Trey Young, Atlanta Hawks, you're going down. We're entering week five, NBA, Lex Anderson Sports Opinion Log. I'm where it's at. If you're viewing, if you're still viewing, you're where it's at. So make the commitment, folks. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Until next time, Lex Anderson, living legend Kobe Bryant, signing out.